Over a year ago, Joshua and I put ourselves through hell by watching every single Hellraiser film. Hellraiser, Hellbound, Hellraiser 2, Hell on Earth, Bloodline, Inferno, Hellseeker, Deader, Hell World, Revelations, Judgment, and now it's finally time for Hellraiser 2022, a brand new Hellraiser film. We've reunited for this. Joshua, welcome again, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And uh, I don't think I've cut my hair since uh, we did our last uh, <laughs> watch. You've just been hiding out in your house after the trauma you've gotten from all these bad Hellraiser <laughs> movies. Anyways, how, how are you feeling about this film? It looked pretty cool, the trailer for it. I'm hoping that Pinhead ends up being Kirsty because like in like a comic or a book or something, Kirsty becomes the Hell Priestess. Not the original Kirsty because this is obviously a remake or whatever. Uh, but that would be pretty cool to find out uh, that a character played right. by a different actress in a new series uh, ended up becoming Pinhead. Hey, it looks like Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> so far, it looks very cinematic and oh, yeah. dramatic. I mean, locations like this is fucking impressive, though. <laughs> I wonder how many Hellraiser fans got pissed at them changing the shape of the, the, the lament configuration oh it is okay oh man fuck them they, ch they haven't even got a cube now anymore <laughs> maybe it turns into a cube i don't know i i think it's kind of cool you know i love the way it was shot too like you thought it was a cube and then it goes around it and then oh shit you know i kind of like it it's more of a, it looks like more of a puzzle than just yeah a I wonder what it looked like in the book, like how it's... Oh. Ouch, fucking hell. I guess that's how they attach themselves to somebody is through the blood. That shit is so painful, dude. <laughs> so the Cenobites work with people? Maybe like you're not free until you feed them somebody else? Or I think this guy wants to know what happens because he's looking kind of like a bit scared so he doesn't know himself. So he used him as like sacrifice, I guess, just to find oh, out what happens. I gotcha. Just to see what it does. I think. Six years later, after they had sex? Right. <laughs> six years later, they're still putting on their pants. <laughs> right? That's what it felt like six years, I know. six years later. Like, after the Hellraiser popped up on the screen, but it was like after the orgasm is this, six years Is later. this like some, some advertisement for pills to make you last longer? <laughs> If your erection lasts over six years, call right. your doctor. Did you really just turn down the TV to listen to us argue? No. <laughs> That's something I'd do, honestly. <laughs> you know what? Fuck the news. Let me turn that shit down and just listen to an argument there. <laughs> is it me? Or does it look like it would be really hot in that apartment? I think it would be. And I think it would smell too. <laughs> You're drunk. Yeah! Are you jealous? <laughs> Are you jealous because I'm drunk? Just grab a beer if you're jealous. <laughs> Are you high, Roger? Yes. Are you, Are you jealous? jealous? <laughs> That's cool. It does more than the old one. Right. I really like, I dig the new design. Because, like, they didn't try to make it really, really weird and, like, different color or style of yeah, shape it's... or whatever. Like, it's still the same style, so. But it's more than just rubbing your thumb across the top. I mean, that never made any sense to me, how everybody knew to do that. And also, I feel like the tension is really high in these scenes because you're just afraid that a knife will pop out into the hand, you know? See, I thought this was gonna be a TV series. Wasn't it gonna be a TV series first? I thought I was crazy for thinking that. No, it was supposed, I think they're still making a TV series. The music and the cinematography so far are really good. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that was cool. I still think Cenobite sounds like a breakfast snack at McDonald's. Come with us. <laughs> Did it sound, come. With us. <laughs> okay, it's not gonna take six years, right? The lament configuration now looks like something Apple produced. <laughs> like evil Apple. <laughs> the lament configuration 4.0. You gotta get a new model eight months later. <laughs> six years later. <laughs> <laughs> we are proud to present to you the I lament configuration. XS Max 
47 Pro Model 2. <laughs> it looks like a Pokeball. <laughs> Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all. <laughs> <laughs> If I hear somebody screaming in the bathroom, I don't think anything's wrong. I just think they're having a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> don't go running in, kicking the stalls open. Nice. He's looking at her like, have I ever met you? Who are you? <laughs> Who's in my apartment? <laughs> Who the okay, fuck are you? Live. Here goes another six years. <laughs> they get finished and they got some gray hairs like me. <laughs> Shatterer's back. Hell yeah, dude. What? 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 What is it? What is it? I don't know. Just tell him the truth. I just saw a skinned man chattering his teeth. <laughs> don't. Don't touch it. Don't. <laughs> what the fuck? I would not stay close to that thing. I would get it to like some fucking laboratory and let <laughs> fucking some scientists cut themselves if they want to. What if uh, like in the corner over there somewhere Hector Salamanca is just... <laughs> Like, <laughs> I dig the, like, some of the blurry imagery we've gotten, you know, like sometimes creepy things happen in the background, but you can't see it because it's focused on something else. I dig it when they do that. The practical effects are fucking good too, though. So far, the Cenobites look pretty cool. Yeah. That's the one that's, in the old ones looks like a catfish to me. Ooh. Wicked. Hey, at least she doesn't drive like most people in movies that do this the whole time. With, with oh that. man, that's so bad. Or like in the James Bond movies where the car is just way too huge in the background. <laughs> oh. Oh. What the fuck? Wow. <laughs> I've never seen a horror movie show the inside dad like that. Right. Oh god. There's... That was Chatterer, right? That just got ripped yeah. apart? Wait, that was an option? You can kill a Cenobite as an offering? I wish that the priest just had on the leather stuff. That would have made it even better. I think so too, right? Yeah. Because now they look kind of naked. <laughs> no, too naked. The leather would have taken away from how pokey some of the skin looks. Like right. It looks like rubber. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Huh? Okay. Why is she gone? She didn't choose one of the rewards, so they just said chose a lament configuration. I'm guessing it's going to follow her and she's going to have to go through the whole cycle until she finally chooses something. Oh, they're going to realize that they're still in the grave in Hell World here in a second. <laughs> Remember that? And and it ends with them driving away in a car. But all of a sudden, he's in the back seat with him, so you realize they were in the grave the whole time. <laughs> Lance Harrison's gonna reach up. Yeah. She made a choice. She chose to end our suffering. <laughs> That's painful. <laughs> Ouch. This is pretty wicked. Can you imagine seeing your own body change like that right in front of you? Ugh. I'm feeling that. <laughs> Even worse. The ending, to me, kind of felt a bit lackluster. And I feel like at the end, they just threw in a bunch of Cenobite action. But I feel like if it was more well divided into different sequences throughout the film, and in between those sequences, you fleshed out the characters more, the pacing would just be a lot better, you know? Because they really hooked me, pun intended, <laughs> at the beginning with that opening sequence. But then it's just a bunch of kind of like nothingness, sad drama, which seems to be a trend in horror recently, which doesn't get me too excited, you know? Yay, she's depressed and addicted and whatever the fuck and lives in a shitty apartment. Uh, like that doesn't get me excited for the movie, you know? And I mean, I'm not against, you know, it shouldn't be like rainbows and butterflies or whatever, but I feel like it's just a trend nowadays with a lot of elevated horror that it needs to be depressing for some reason. Like, so I don't know. It felt like this was a sequel 
to a reboot that they've already made. It felt more like a sequel than a reboot, but not uh, like a sequel to the original series. It felt like if there was already a reboot, right. this would be the part two to it. Because like a lot of stuff isn't explained very well. It felt like we should already know a lot of shit that we don't yeah. know because they've changed the rules. But yeah, man, I think if I was rating this one one through 10, it would be like a six. For me too, yeah. I think if I rewatch it, I might prefer it. I gotta say, out of every horror movie, and you know I'm a big slasher, I'm a fucking slasher librarian, man. <laughs> that kill, not the kill, but the needle through the throat is one of the greatest scenes in a horror movie I've ever seen. Like, uh, actually seeing the inside of the body as it's being right. the going through. Very you know, unique. I've never seen that in a movie horror movie and that was great that that stood out to me as the best part of the movie uh aesthetically visually yeah for sure yeah and it was a lot of fun to come back and do a reaction with you for sure so. man and i'm curious to see if they ever do a sequel to this one i bet they will anyways guys what did you think of the new hellraiser 2022 let us know in the comments down below and uh, we'll see you guys next time see ya